Hello, my Cyber Kingdom. How are we doing today? I am the Cyber Reaper, Percival, and welcome to the virtual world. Today is going to be a bit of a different video where I'm going to show you how to use Virtual Cast. In this experience, I'm going to show you the best and the things you need to do to get the best recording experience out of Virtual Cast. This includes the basics of Virtual Cast, how to import your VRI models into it, how to add new backgrounds, showing the different recording cameras, and a little look over the settings and how to record Virtual Cast with OBS. When I started using Virtual Cast, I found it a bit confusing to be honest, and wanted to make sure you guys learned from my mistakes. <laughs> Joking, I don't make mistakes. Virtual Cast is still in its beta, and there aren't a lot of tutorials going in depth in the program. So here I am showing you everything I've learned from Virtual Cast and giving you the best experience in the software. But before we start the video, I see that a lot of you here aren't subscribed. If you guys enjoy VTubing and gaming content, then you've come to the perfect place. I absolutely love VTubing and gaming and try to upload three times a week. So if you guys want to see more from my channel, please subscribe and like. It'll really mean a lot towards a goal of total cyber domination. So to begin, we're going to make an account with the seed online. This will let us use the software, let us import VRL models into the game and download new backgrounds for our scenes. Okay, now let's get the app running. I always recommend going to the desktop version to tweak the settings a bit. And if this is your first time on the app, I definitely recommend staying on the desktop version just for a bit. So the first thing you're gonna see is your nickname and target studio ID. Just fill out your nickname to whatever you want it to be. The target studio ID is for the multiplayer version, I think. And if you guys wanna see a multiplayer tutorial, let me know and I'll do it. After that, in the top right corner will be your account. If we press on that, it will show us our inventory. And as you can see, we're only allowed 60 things to be imported into Virtual Cast at once. Then in the top left corner, you can see a small cog. And this will be our settings. And here you can adjust everything from the audio to the graphics and more. I honestly recommend messing around with the settings a bit, just until you find it to your liking. And finally on the desktop launcher, we can see some links to Nico Nico and Showroom, and some of the platforms. As we're focusing on video recording and not streaming, I won't be getting into this. So now we're in the actual app. First thing we're going to need to do is calibrate our height. Where you put down the two controllers to the sides. And then press the trigger buttons. Don't worry if it takes too long to load in, just... It's just how the app is, sorry. I also recommend not moving too much until your avatar loads in. Because if you do, it might load in a bit weird. And here we are, in virtual cast. So, let's go over here. As you can see, here's my character. Um... If I move this up a bit, there we go. Um, with the controllers, what you can do, with the joystick on the right side, you can do different facial expressions. So you got a smile, you got a slight smile, you got angry, and you got sad. And with what we call it, the controllers themselves, you can do different like um, hand emotes, like wee. Um, Pew, 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 pew. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, that's all the what should we call it handy mode and the facial expressions. So now I'm going to show you the menu really quickly, guys. So in the menu we have character change, items, change background, cast, rooms, and system. Character change quite um fits the explanatory, self-explanatory. You can change all the characters you want. Items, really self-explanatory. You got like different camera recorders, and which I'll get into in a second. Change background, obviously quite like self-explanatory. Just change the background. Uh, um, cast and rooms, I will be getting into in a different video. So this is focusing on recording. Um, these two aren't really for recording, if they're for streaming. And I think this is multiplayer as well. Uh, I'm not sure. So we have quit options, which let's just go quit, back to title, and quit and res uh, reset and quit. User height, I am 5 foot 8, so 172 centimeters. Uh, volume, obviously that's quite self-explanatory, it's like, whatchamacallit, um, changing the volume. Uh, comment, I think that's for Nico Nico and um, Showroom, I believe. Motion filter, what this does is, if you turn it off, if it's disabled, what it does is makes your... Um, movement a bit more robotic but if you have it on obviously it's going to make it a lot nicer uh locomotion you can either change, change from teleport snap turn fov basically it's how you move 
Uh, reload VRM basically just reloads your character model, so you stand still for this. Nice. Um, you can adjust menu height. That could help out a bit with some people. And then you got studio settings. Which you can enable 3D audio and distant, and voice distant roll off. To import your VRM models into Virtual Cast, we're going to need to go to the Seed Online website. Of course, first you'll need to log in. And after doing that, you can go to the top right corner and go to upload. Then select characters and then the character you want to import in. After that, you'll need to take a picture of your avatar. This is quite an old avatar, so I haven't used it in a while. This is the first iteration of Percival. After you've taken the picture, you'll then need to give it an asset name. You can then choose the release settings and then you're off to product edit. You will then need to give it a product name. You can always just use the same name as your asset though. Product details are optional and after you've done that, just go down to release settings, choose if you want a private, unlisted or public, and then just register the avatar. Now, if we go back into virtual cast, character change as you can see the original Percival has been imported in and then you just press on it and here I am I'm not going to use this one though because I don't like how it looks to add new backgrounds into virtual cast we'll need to go to the Zero online website again obviously log in first and then just come back to this page now if we click on user store and head down to locations You'll see some locations made by other people. So let's just find a nice location. Now that we've found our location, we need to click on it. Don't worry, most locations are free. And by doing that, you've successfully added a new location into Virtual Cast. Now that we're done with the background, all we do is we go to change background. Um, choose the background we chose. Now that's pretty cool here. And boom, we've loaded in. So now that we're done with all the um, background and VRM settings, what I'm going to do is show you guys the different cameras they have. So if we go into items, first we have the camcorder. Now, this is just basically like a normal camera, as you can see, um, just like a normal camera, basically. And how do you activate it? Uh, you can see on the screen over there. That over there is straight uh, is on my desktop at the moment. So now, if we press this, you can see it's different. And yeah, and it's, uh, this is also going to my desktop at the moment. And so, let me move this up a bit. So yeah, that's going to my desktop at the moment. Okay, so now that we're done with this, let's get rid of it. You can always just do tidy up and I'll get rid of mostly everything. So now we've got the tracking camera. This one's quite nice to use. So if I bring this up here and yep, as you can see, it's tracking me wherever I go. It is tracking me. So yeah, that's really nice, like some shots that you want to be tracked um let's get rid of that this this next camera is a bit weird not gonna lie but i kind of like it so this is the tracking camera and this is a um, camera that just tracks you it'll move over to different places like where whenever like hello how you doing hello wow hello um yeah, it just tracks you like normal. You can't really tell where it's gonna go. Hello. It's um, it would be an interesting. It's it's an interesting thing to record with. Not gonna lie. Where do you go? 
So yeah, we're done with that camera. Um, then we got the video capture, which I'm not even sure what it is, to be honest. I have never used this before. I guess, what should we call it? Um, I've never used that camera before, so I don't know what it is, sorry. And those are the cameras that are in Virtual Cast. So recording a virtual cast with OBS is a bit tricky. If you have two monitors, it's a lot easier. In the past, when I had one monitor, it was a bit of a pain to get it going. So first, I'm going to show you how to do it with two monitors. So to start, what you're going to need to do is drag virtual cast over to your other monitor. So that's easy right there. So what you're going to need to do, drag it over to your other monitor real quickly. After that, on OBS, you're going to want to start a display capture on your on the monitor where you have virtual cast. So, we're going to change over the display to that. As you can see, there you go. Okay. Okay. Let me just make this bigger for you guys. So then, what you're going to want to do is just crop it using Alt, then drag, and you just want to crop it perfectly until you only have virtual cast. There you go. And then bring it back up into the corner and resize it. Let me do that, sorry. And there you go. That's how you record virtual cast with two monitors. Now I'll show you the one monitor method. So let's go back to my normal display. So now we're back on OBS. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize that for a second. Oh, there's my audio recording. So we got virtual cast over my second screen. Let's bring it to the first screen. So there we have virtual cast. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bring down OBS real quickly. There we go. That's way too small. That's good enough. So now we've got OBS over here. And now what we're going to want to do is, like I said earlier, Alt crop everything out except for virtual cast. And there you go. Now we just want to go up here and resize it. And boom, we got virtual cast recording on one monitor now. Just want to say thank you to Fia from the Virtual Reality Show for showing me this method of recording virtual cast. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it helps you out with your virtual cast journey. I love using virtual cast to make these videos for you guys and really want to carry on making more. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. It'll help us towards our goal of total cyber domination. I upload three times a week, and if you love the world of VTubing like me, then you'll feel right at home with our small community. Also, if you guys want to see what I would look like in real life, or cast me for a role, both my links to my Instagram and casting call will be in the description. And finally, if you guys are interested in joining a live stream and interacting with me, my Twitch will also be in the description. Anyway, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to log out now, guys. So see you guys in the next video. And I'll try not to blow up any chargers or phones. No promises, though.